Take one. Now what do a carrot and a potato have in common with me? Our time in the limelight might be over by 2050. Do I really have to say that? I think it's quite offensive. Well, not to the carrot. You see, current farming methods are one of many factors contributing to climate change, which could see some of our favorite foods dying out. However, there is something called regenerative farming, which could make a huge difference. Due to droughts and the extreme heat of 2022, our potato yield was down 15%. That's over 50 million fewer potatoes than the five-year average. And due to several factors, including climate change and soil health, the UK's total crop area decreased by 5.6% in 2019. So I'm here to see what's being done about it. Imogen, hello. Hi, Roman. Uh, so you're a farmer, correct? Yes. OK, now you, you might need to help me out because I have no idea what I'm doing. No worries at all. I can definitely show you around the farm. But I think you need to get change first. What do you mean? I thought I looked good. It's new, new trainers. Mm, it's probably a bit clean for today. All right, well, let's have a look at what you've got. I've got a few things. Overalls. Overall what? You look great. I look like I'm wearing a onesie. Right, so what are we doing then? Well, it's all about growing the food we need while improving the environment at the same time. So was growing things harming the world? Well, it's more that the land was being damaged over time. So new practices are about moving the soil less to release less carbon, using fewer sprays and helping the wildlife thrive. So how are you doing all this? So McCain are helping to train and fund farmers with an aim of 100% of the potato crop involving regenerative agricultural practices by 2030. We're planting the wildflowers as part of our regenerative farming efforts to encourage the insects and the birds and help keep the bad bugs at bay. So what else are you doing on the farm? Well, we're rotating our crops to keep the soil healthy. So one year we might plant potatoes, then wheat, then kale. And why would that help? Let's ask Liz. So why do we need to change what we're growing? Well, you see, planting the same crop every year can cause disease and it can damage the soil. So if we plant a different crop every year and we cultivate as little as possible, then we can improve soil health and it can keep the carbon in the soil. And what are you hoping for this to lead to? Well, we're just at the start of the process of improving our land quality. We're hoping for a thriving ecosystem with the help of wildflowers and healthier soil and a greater yield from our fields. I mean, how long have you been waiting to say that? All day. All day. All day. Yeah, that's the money maker. Well, I never really realised just how easy it is for all of us to do our bit and the difference these little guys can make. To find out more about regenerative farming and how it's having such a massive impact, make sure you go to mccain.co.uk forward slash sustainability. Oh. <laughs>